Wix Content Manager. Hi guys, welcome back to another video and in today's video, I'm going to be telling you about Wix's Content Manager and how you can create your very own database. So without wasting any more of your time, let's just jump into the video. So the first thing that I want you guys to do is come over to Wix.com and over here what I want you guys to do is just simply sign up. And you can sign up by clicking on the get started button over here in the middle. And as you can see, it requires no credit card so you can easily sign up without having to pay any fee whatsoever. Simply click on get started and over here you have two ways. You can either sign up with either email or you can continue with Google. Now I recommend continuing with Google because it's a lot easier and it saves quite a lot of time and you can easily sign up onto any website with just a single click of a button. So I'm gonna go ahead and sign up and I'll catch you guys in a little bit. So once you have signed up, this is how the website is going to look like. Now, as you can see, we have quite a lot of things going on over here. Now what I want you guys to do is just simply create a, your very own website. Now as you can see I've already created one but I'm going to go ahead and create another one just to show you guys how easy it is. So to create a site just simply come over here at the top and click over here on your website and over here just simply click on create a new site. Now once you do that now it'll ask you what type of site are you trying to create. So an online store, a portfolio, a blog, a consultant or technology. Let's go with portfolio because it lies within a content manager as well. So click on portfolio. Now over here you have journalist portfolio, general portfolio, game design or whatever. So we're going to go with journalist portfolio. Click on next. Now you have two options in front of you. You can either let Wix ADI create a website for you or you can create your own website with the editor. Now Wix ADI is pretty good, but I wouldn't recommend it using it unless you don't have any time whatsoever. And the reason that is because it's a pretty good AI tool, but the website it creates are very bland and don't have any customization option whatsoever. So for that reason alone, I, I would say that unless you're really, really short on time, then I wouldn't recommend using it. So let's just go ahead and edit a template. So click on edit the template and over here as you can see we have quite a lot of options over here so all of these templates are available to us so what we can do now is we can go ahead and find a template that we like and start editing it so i think this template looks pretty cool so let's go ahead and see what it is so bring your mouse over it and click on view to view the template and click on view full demo now as you can see it's pretty simple it's really basic so over here we have blogs, we have podcasts, we have collaborations and we have work with me. And over here you can have your image and over here you can add your name and stuff like that. So if we click on collaborations, it'll take us to the another part of this website where we can, you know, add the other works. The same one would be podcasts. OK, and then we have blogs as well. So I think this website is going to work and I can explain easily to you how what content manager is. So let's go ahead and edit this site. Wait a couple of seconds for the editor to load up because it takes quite a lot of time because it's loading up all of the tools and stuff like that. So let's just wait a couple of seconds for it to properly load. So now the website has been loaded up and as you can see, it's pretty simple. Um, you have your tools over here on the right. So you have quite a lot of tools and then you have a couple of other options at the top right here. Now, what we can basically do is to edit a website, all we have to do is just simply click on a part that we want to edit and then we can just simply edit that part. So over here, as you can see, this is an image right here. So I'm sure that this is just a template. But if you are going to use this template, you are going to, you know, change this picture. So to change the picture, just simply click on it and click on change picture at the top right here. And it'll open up Wix's media. And over here, you can find other pictures as well. Now, for example, if you already wanted to, you know, upload your own picture you just simply go over here into my boards and over here you just simply come over here into site files and over here just simply upload the picture that you want to upload and then you can just choose that picture and it'll stick to that so you know it's pretty simple it's really easy and you can also change the background as well so simply just click on over here at the empty space and click on change stripe background so when you click on it as you can see the settings are over here the colors are over here it's pretty simple it's really unique like you can do anything we're just simply gonna close that up now over here what I want you guys to do is you can also change your name as well of course you're gonna do that you just simply click on the text that you want and click on edit text 
and then you can change the text to whatever you want you can change the fonts you can change the theme of the text you can align it you can add different effects you know and many many more so now we have these four buttons and we can change these four buttons and we can create a new page and link that page to it so to link a page all you have to do so as you can see we have already linked them over here so to link these buttons just simply click on them and click on this button over here link and just simply type in the link that you want and choose how it opens so in the new window or in the current window so in the new window and click on done and that is basically it so whenever someone clicks on this button over here it'll take them to that link that you had entered in so that there is no confusion now let's go ahead and let me show you about the content manager so content manager is basically like a giant spreadsheet all right like it has quite a lot of things in it now you can create one by simply coming over here and clicking on the plus button and moving down over here in the content manager now once you're over here as you can see you can easily manage your site's content set up a content collection create hundreds of dynamic pages collect info from site visitors as well so just simply click on add to site wait a couple of seconds for the content manager to be added onto the site and once it's done that as you can see you have a couple of different options for the layout so you have all these portfolios that you can choose from so you have list items you have projects you have services you have news portfolio recipes property listing courses and job listings and team members and many many more so now it all depends upon what type of site you're using since we're using a journal so i think that portfolio will go with the pass so simply hover your mouse over the template that you like and just simply click on add to site then wait a couple of seconds for the pages to be created and this portfolio to be set up so as you can see it's loaded up and this is how it looks like so as you can see as i told you before that it's like a giant spreadsheet so you have your title over here you have your descriptions then you have your date and then you have your gallery and then you have the main project image as in the thumbnail and then you have the client name and then you have portfolios and many many more and you can add in more images if you feel like it like you know give it a little bit more detail and over here you have your fields so if you click on over here you have you can have more fields as you can see the owner update create date ids and many many more you can toggle which id fields to turn on and off again and stuff like that so as you can see it's pretty simple as you can see we already have a few of the images created over here and to create an image all you have to do is click on this button over here and it'll create a layout and then all you have to do is just input the information as you go along as you go along add in the images main project file client name and portfolios and stuff like that and that is basically it so let me just go ahead and delete this and now that is basically done all we have to do is just simply click on this cross button and see how it looks like so over here as you can see this is the portfolio like it looks pretty simple let me just close this up over here so as you can see this is the portfolio right now it looks really simple it's really easy to use so this is like another home page as well this is basically how you use it it's like a giant spreadsheet and you just input information so that people can know so as you can see this is the content manager button over here and if i click on manage content it'll open up this content manager pop-up and we can edit this over here so over here we have different portfolios as well we can switch between changes as well so if i click on home we'll go back to home and over here we have portfolios down below it looks really complicated but it really isn't it if you just think about it like a giant spreadsheet everything becomes much much more easier so that is it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to hit the like button subscribe to our channel and turn on post notifications and having said that i'll catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye